Down to 10 seconds left. The UMass Minute Women on the verge of winning back-to-back -back Atlantic 10 titles. There it is, the 14th Atlantic 10 title for the University of Massachusetts Minute Women as they defeat the Richmond Spiders in a hard-fought contest today at Garber Field by a score of two to one. Coach, back-to-back -back Atlantic 10 titles, both won on your home field. How does it feel? Uh, it feels really great. Uh, last year was a bit euphoric in, in a way that, I mean, it was our, my first and the, fir the team's first in quite a while. Um, so it was kind of a surreal feeling. This year, it, it's a little bit more emotional. Um, it's been a long ride for these seniors and for a lot of these, the kids on the team. And they just, they worked their butts off for this. And uh, it, it, it feel, felt like we had to earn this a little bit more than last year. So it, it I'm kind of an emotional happy right now. Um, but I'm, I'm so proud of these guys and, and happy that they, they get to experience this. Talk about the way your team responded, a very long game against VCU, double overtime, and just like that, you're up 2 nothing before halfway through the first half. Yeah, how about that? Uh, we knew we could get up early on them. Um, it, with most teams, we tend to be a bit streaky, especially opening up, and we were against VCU, we just didn't capitalize. Um, and we knew we could do that again today. Uh, we did it last day, 10 finals against these guys too, and we talked about that a lot. We also knew today would come down to small details and set pieces, and uh, that first penalty corner, we've been working on that for three weeks and, and saving that, and they, they executed it perfectly. So uh, really great job by them, but to, to get up that early and, and have that cushion uh, is really great. You know, did I think we'd hold that the whole time? You know, you never know. You don't want to sit there and hold the, hold the lead. But we, the game was played mostly in the midfield from there on out with with few opportunities by either team. So, really great job uh, for us to plug up the middle and 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 c come out with a win. Lauren Ali Muhammad, the most outstanding player of the championship, the defensive player of the year, and she looked like she was all over the place against Richmond's best player, Rebecca Berry. What does she bring to your team in terms of leadership and obviously ability? Um, leadership wise, she. I mean, she's one of our captains, but she's. She's just a, got a great hat on her shoulders, and she's a consistent and positive leader. She leads by example, but she also leads um, with her voice, too. And, and she's a great role model to our younger players. Uh, she's one that she's always bringing it on the field. And, you know, it, she rises to the occasion, and it's really special to watch. Um, I, we, I knew she'd step up hard in this game. She, she knew, and we, all, we knew with all three backs they were going to be tested with their strikers up front, and they did a great job handing them off, marking, and, and really uh, keeping it clean in the back today. Talk about your freshman class. I thought they added a lot of depth this season. Izzy Delario from Clean Lachlan accounts for one of the two goals, and uh, they paid dividends in the finals, but I thought really uh, they helped your team out, you know, going, being able to go seven and eight deep all season long. Uh, absolutely, and Clean has come on strong late here in the latter uh, last few games and it's been really a boost to get get some more legs on the off the off the bench she's played really outstanding izzy's been had a, gr a great year offensively for us especially as a freshman charlotte varels i mean she didn't get any recognition today but she was solid in the midfield came up with a lot um and, and really controlled both games in the midfield for us um and, and i could name them all i mean hannah farrell came in and played some great minutes nikki miller came in and played some great minutes um, uh, Haley Cockrum came in and placed. I mean, they, they did. It's adding adding that those legs and getting those. You know, they're not just adding legs and biding time. They're they're adding productivity on the field, and that's really great when you're going down the stretch right now. Finally, the NCAA tournament awaits you. We'll find out tomorrow night at 10 exactly where and when you'll be playing. But uh, just how do you feel going into that with 18 regular season wins, another A10 title, and uh, some NCAA experience last season going forward? I feel pretty good about it. I, I don't know where we're going to go, who will play, if we'll be in a plan or not a plan, but um, it, it's just great to be there and to have the experience. And uh, I know there's a lot of players on this team that were on this team last year uh, that we knew we could go further last year. It was kind of the experience and getting there, and our eyes were wide open. This year's team is looking to advance that a little bit, and I think we can be dangerous down the stretch here. So, Hannah, take us through. You scored the what ended up being the game-winning goal, I think, depending on how they score things. But uh, you got UMass off to a great start today. Yeah, you know, we have been practicing corners and set pieces a lot, so it was good to get it in the goal. Uh, I was aiming for either a tip or just a goal, so put it away, definitely. It was 2-1 to one throughout the entire second half. Neither team had too many offensive chances, but talk about the intensity on the field. It looked like you guys, both you and Richmond, are really going at it out there. Yeah, uh, I thought in the second half we, you know, stayed poised, even though we did turn over the ball a few times, but I think that 
if when that happened, we just tried to pick ourselves back up and stay together. And I think our playing as a team was what really, you know, kept the win and kept the lead. A couple of freshmen figured in the other goal. He had Kleena Lachlan assisting Izzy Delario. Talk about that freshman class. You know, you've been around a while, but they really have jumped right in and really haven't missed a beat, it looked like, this season. Yeah, our freshmen have definitely stepped up. They've came so far since our first weekend um, back at Maine. It seems like forever ago. But, you know, Izzy, she's my roommate. And she We call her Bambi because she is amazingly fast. And Kleena as well picked up that rebound and got the ball, you know, right on cage, which is awesome. Back to back. 8-10 titles, both won in your home field, both against your arch rival Richmond. What does that mean to you? Uh, since my freshman year, it's always been clear that Richmond is our 8-10 rivals. So, you know, it was kind of something we kind of expected early in the season that we would probably be facing them again because we know they're a very talented team and they're a huge threat. So, you know, being able to come out here the second year in a row on Garber has been amazing, and I'm very happy to end my uh, regular, you know, 8-10 play on Garber. And, of course, the NCAA tournament awaits you next year. Maybe you'll have one more home game. We'll find that all out Sunday night. But uh, what's going through your mind going forward to that? And this is a great moment, but uh, a run through the NCAA tournament undoubtedly would be a good one as well. Yeah, you know, we'll see 10 p.m. tomorrow night for the selection show, and we'll see uh, kind of just that our fate is awaiting that moment. Um, but, you know, it's good that we have, we'll have a whole week to practice, potentially a playing game, but hopefully we'll just get a bid right to the tournament and make some damage there. Last question. You played a long game yesterday, obviously two overtimes. Did that take anything out of you guys here today? You know, after the game yesterday, I was you know, I was pretty beat, and I was like, all right, I really got to get my legs back under me. But waking up this morning, I was like, this is going to be a beautiful day. I was kind of surprised how good my legs felt, and I think the energy from the girls, you know, you kind of just let all that stuff go and just get ready to play. Beautiful day indeed. Congratulations, Hannah. Thank you.